Hi, my name is Adam Stamper. I'm an engineer and instructor here at Omega Studios in Rockville, Maryland, home of the Omega Studios School of Applied Recording Arts and Sciences. Have you ever wondered how that realistic acoustic grand piano patch got into your keyboard or software sampler in the first place? Well, today we're going to demonstrate the principles of multi-sampling in Omega Studio A. Multi-sampling is the process of recording multiple notes across the musical range of an instrument in order to then more accurately recreate that instrument on a keyboard or software sampler. For example, I could just sample one note of an acoustic grand piano, say middle C, and then load that into my sampler onto middle C. I could then assign the key range of that sample across the entire keyboard, and if I played up or down from middle C, it would pitch that note up or down accordingly. If I play in the middle range, this may sound okay, but as I play more and more away from middle C, the artifacts that are introduced by pitch shifting are going to make this instrument sound much less realistic. So this is where multi-sampling comes in. If I sample more notes across the range of the instrument, I can now more accurately represent it. For our example, we'll be using Omega's Yamaha Marimba, and I'll be assisted by one of our recent graduates and amazing interns, Chase Illig. So we need to mic this marimba up and get levels. We'll be using two C48s in mid-side configuration for mono compatibility, and this means that we can have either stereo or mono-summed samples when we load them into our sampler. So now we've gotten levels, and we just need to record our samples. I'm gonna have Chase play a C and an F sharp on each octave. That'll give us one, two, three, four, five, six spaces in between the two notes, and we'll have equal spacing uh, between all the notes on the marimba. So we have all our samples here that we recorded, and I've dropped markers in Pro Tools to denote all of the notes and note numbers that we took. I'm gonna edit one here quickly as an example for you. I'm gonna use the F sharp two note, and I'm gonna place my cursor near the beginning and separate the region. Then I can play back the sample to listen for the decay. And I find the end, separate there, put a fade out. And now I have an edited region in Pro Tools that I can play back but I need to consolidate that into an actual new audio file so I can export it. So I'll select it and consolidate. Now I have it as an actual whole file region audio file which I can rename with the proper note number. And it's ready to export. I'll do this to the rest of the samples and export them to one folder which I can later import into my sampler. So the sampler we'll be using today is a software sampler made by Avid. Um, called Structure, and I've already created a part up here named Marimba, and I'll import my first sample into here, the C1 note. Then I need to assign that C1 to the proper key, so I'm going to drag it over onto the C1 shown on the keyboard down here, and check that the root note is set properly. I'll continue this process for the remainder of the samples. So I've laid out all the samples and assigned the proper root key, but I have spaces in between that I need to fill in by extending the key range. So the low note, the C1, I'm going to extend all the way down since there's no samples below that. And the top note, I'll extend up since there's no samples above that. For the remaining samples, I'll need to fill in the five spaces that are in between each note. So I will extend the key ranges up three semitones and down two. Again, each one will be down two and up three. And I'll continue this process for the rest of the samples. So now that all my samples have been mapped out across the keyboard, I'm gonna do a little test here and play back a MIDI track that I made earlier. That's gonna trigger the samples, but you can hear that the samples are being cut short. So I'm gonna select all of them and lengthen their release times in the amp envelope. And then I'll just provide a little makeup gain from the amp section. And we're good to go.
Thank you for watching. This concludes our multi-sampling tutorial. If this information interests you or other subject matters of this nature, please visit omegastudioschool.edu for more information on the school.